Hi guys. It's just little old me. Probably thinking I don't look real happy right now. Truth of the mat fact of the matter is, I'm not. I'm having a downer. Hang on, I've just got to fix something up here. Um, where do I start? Come on. Yeah, well, I've certainly learnt a valuable lesson this week. One I hope you guys never, ever have to do. It's called getting kicked in the guts, big time. I'm not going to name names, because it's got nothing to The reason why I'm down has got nothing to do with anyone that's said or done anything on YouTube. I'll get that right first. I did something absolutely stupid and I'm kicking myself. Um, you, some of you might remember that back in July this year, I was doing the V8s. That doesn't sound right, but I was working at the V8s. But because I'm on my L's, I need a licensed driver that's held his license for more than 12 months. No problem. Well, anyway, I caught up with a friend of mine in our local shopping centre. Anyway, she said, I might be able to help you out. She said, not a problem. Um, I could have probably got a lift with her and her friend, but it, as it turned out, there wasn't enough room in the car because the car was only a small car. Fair enough, I'd, I'd understood that. Anyway, this guy that my friend knows, she said, oh, he might be able to help you. I was, oh, cool. Anyway, that was all right. We got talking. He said, yeah. He said, what days do you want to go? And I said, well, it's all weekend. Anyway, that was all right. I goes on the Friday. I'm there all day. And uh, come home. Saturday, Sunday, I was there all weekend. And that was fine. Anyway, he asked if he could borrow my car because his car was a write-off. He had an accident in it and was told, or I was told, that he'd only need it for at least three, four weeks. Yeah. As if. Anyway. Here in the last month and a half, I've been asking for my car back. Oh, this needs doing, that needs doing. It's got a flat battery I can't get at the start. Mind you, that was the first time. I said, well, why didn't you text me? I said, I could have helped out some way or another. No, nah, it's alright. He said, I know a bit about cars. He said, I could fix it. Okay, fine. Not a problem. I wasn't arguing. Um, but there was always a reason as to why it never happened. Sometimes I'd never hear from him. Unless I asked for the car. Yeah, I'll have it to you tomorrow. Well, we all know tomorrow never comes. 
Um, anyway, over the this last few days, I lost my cool big time. Anyway, it was supposed to have been here Thursday, four o'clock Thursday. Four o'clock came, four o'clock went. Anyway, so the next day, I texted him. He rang me back. He said, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Ra ra ra. Another piss weak excuse. Anyway, so. I said, Look, you told me it was going to be here Thursday. Now you're telling me Friday. It will, I promise it will be there. Now, when I lent my car, it was in clean, not damaged, nothing. <laughs> the car come back all right. It's got a few dents in it here and there. Not happy. The car doesn't go. You turn the key, it goes... It wants to turn over. But it won't. It's a um, X Trail, whatever thing, X Trail anyway, four by four. And this is an X Trail. It's either the alternator, I'm hoping not, or it's a fuse, or fuel injector thing, or whatever. I'm not mechanically minded, I don't know. Anyway, I finally got it back yesterday. Friday. Anyway, he rings me up. Now, he knows my address. This is how pathetic he is. Oh, what's your address? I said, you know my address. Now, first off, he asked me if I could send it to him. And I said, yeah, all right. And because I thought he'd hung up. And I, I put my phone halfway down and I turned around and called him a F head. Or I don't know if I can say fuckhead, but I'm going to. Anyway, so F head. Anyway, the end of the day, yeah, I finally got it back. But, he came here one day saying that he was $300 short of his rent. So he got a, got a loan of $300. I'll pay it back next week. Well, we're still waiting. Then another time he borrowed $400. All up he's borrowed $1,000. Out of that 1000 he's paid $100. We're still waiting for the other nine. The other 900 So I don't know which fortnight he plans on paying our money back. But I said to the people here, Captain Starkers and a mate of ours that lives here, Steve, you might as well kiss your money goodbye because you ain't going to get it back. Look how long it took me to get my car back and it's not even in working order. So yeah, I'm pretty pissed off. Needless to say, the only thing that's stopping me from doing something stupid is the fact that um, he's got a kid. 
I mean, fuck's sake, I'm only on a disability support pension. I don't have the kind of money that I can go out to the back and pull off money off me money tree. If only I'd had a money tree. So, yeah, I'm having a bitchy, ranty sort of a morning. And that's part of the reason why I didn't sleep. Um, bipolar's kicked in. I'm pretty <clears throat> agitated right now. But part of me wants to cry, and I'm holding it back as much as I can. So if I do break down, please just ignore it. I mean, if one thing is stealing off me. Another thing I hate is that people can't tell you the fucking truth. It really pisses me off. They can't be honest. Oh, but I've always treated you with respect. Yeah. What's that got to do with price of tea in China when you can't afford to buy it? So I've been... I don't know. I am so angry at him, but I'm also more angry at myself for getting into that situation. Oh, you live and learn, I suppose. I've learnt one thing, though. Don't take people at face value. Shit on your one way or the other. Fucking that. Fuck off. And this phone is pissing me off to the point where I want to throw the bastard. Don't buy a Sony Ericsson ZA. That's crap. I'm trying to free up space on my computer. or well, not computer, my laptop. This is running like a hairy goat, and I just found out why. There's a whole heap of programs installed in the Windows apps, like games and stuff, and I thought, well, I don't need them on there. I'm going to get, I'm going to get rid of them. Anyway, no good of dwelling on what happened. And I'm just going to pick myself up, dust myself off, and try to be happy. <laughs> so, in the meantime, dilly dilly. I'm drinking brandy, lime, and bitters. Lemon, lime, bitters. Whatever. It is. So, I've only had three glasses so I'm not pissed or anything I'm pretty lucid plus I've already had a cup of coffee so I don't know I just fancied something cold and that was it so I'm having that but I'm not planning on wiping myself out that doesn't solve a thing after that one I'll probably just have a coffee anyway I mean that's what 5.18 in the morning is so it's a bit early to be drinking um yeah Thanks, guys. I just wanted to, I don't know, rant, vent, <laughs> whatever. A bit of both. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, no, I won't be doing any of that again for anyone. I don't care who they are. Oh, I'll look after your car. It'll come back and... The same condition as you lent it to me? Ha ha ha. It came back on a tow truck. And I said to the bloke yesterday, I said, I hope that's not costing me nothing. 
He's a nose, but it's all been paid for. Ah, nice. So anyway, I just sent the guy a text and said, thank you. And that's all I said, and I left it at that. Uh, it can either be man enough to come and apologise or be a chicken sh livered shit and keep away. I don't give a fuck anymore. Because it's people like him that cause people like me to lose their shit. And well, when you're bipolar, <laughs> funny how some people don't want to be around you. Hmm. I wonder why. And he wonders why I lose my cool. Because normally I'm cool, quiet, and reserved. Hmm. Don't know about that. Anyway, guys, thank you for listening to the ramble and letting me vent. So I'm going to take a dose of kick myself up the ass. Finish doing what I'm doing on this laptop. And then I'm going to watch King Dizzy. So don't forget, guys, King Dizzy will be on very shortly. So, peace, and I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.